So working at the Bunnett Aden Gallery, I was there in the evenings for the most part. Uh, and it gave me a chance to study and also to meet people who came to the gallery. But they would very often have the openings, which were major for the time, I guess, because they had very important artists coming in. And I can recall having met some of the local poets. They would have kind of, I guess you'd call them salons of sorts. Georgia Douglas Johnson, the very last of the Harlem Renaissance poets who came to Washington. May Miller, May Miller Sullivan, who was the daughter of the dean of, uh, for a long time at Howard University, um, College of Liberal Arts. Um, she was a poet, and I remember when Langston Hughes came into town, and that was where I first met um, Romare Bearden, um, Theodore Stamos, I. Rice Pereira, and several other artists. And it was not just black artists who were there. The, yes, it was to showcase mainly African-American artists, but um, American artists in general would come. And um, you no doubt have heard me say, that's where I first met Mr. Duncan Phillips. And I want to say it was around 1952. It may have been a little bit later, but I, I want to say it was around 1952, but not in an exhibition. He came to visit, and I want to say it was a group show in which Iris Ferreira and Theodore Stamos and a few others were included. I don't know that he bought anything from that show, but Mr. Heron said occasionally he would, you know, buy or follow up with purchase of artists that he had seen there.